Damn, oh my bro. god! I'm gonna. Damn, I'm at 14 bro. health. Damn, bro. Yeah. Oh, 0.45. Yeah. Health. The lock breaker. Yeah. Oh. All right, so use it. And Bill's oh. also oh. trying to do a move at the wall. Ooh. Oh, oh, and it stuns you. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, damn. It's really nice. Yo. Ooh. Damn. Oh, yeah, and it does. It does. Uh, yeah, it does a lot. Oh. Look at this. Lose control. It has a mind of its own, and it kills the enemies. Yo. I can just. Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy the summer 2 and back with another banger. Alright, so check it out. On today's video, I'm going to be showcasing every single character in this new JoJo game that goes by the name Troublesome Battlegrounds 2. So this game is like ABA, but straight JoJo. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys end up enjoying the video. But before we get into the video, if you haven't yet, please smash that like button. Let's try to hit 300 likes on this video. And if you happen to be new to the channel, then smash that subscribe button as well. And turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on my latest content. Currently at 38,900 subscribers. That's good and all, but I would really appreciate it if y'all helped me bounce to that 40 hey, hey, hey. Alright guys, we're gonna start off with the Jonathan Joestar character. I'm gonna be showcasing him since I got this character. And uh, yeah, with that being said, this character doesn't have a stat, but he has a Hamid Charge, aka Hamid Fighting Style. Well, it's called Hamid Charge in the game. So in order to use every move in his moveset, you'll have to charge your Hamid. So let me charge it real quick. And the character that my boy Audible got right now has a Hamid as well, so that's pretty cool. So this is the first move for this character, Pluck and Pluck. Okay. So, you know, it has an attack move, and the second one is an attack move as well, and also Block Breaker. So if they block, the first move is going to do damage, and the second move is going to block your break, which is pretty cool, bro. So moving on to the second move, Zoom Punch. So this one is also a Block Breaker, so check it out. Bang. Okay, and damn, that range too. though, bruh. That would be amazing for combo enders. Yeah. Because while you're in so, the middle of a combo, people aren't going to, they're just going to focus on blocking. I think you yeah. can just pull that off. So yeah, Muhammad uh, right now, so I can't use my move, so let me charge Muhammad again real quick. Yes, sir. I'm right, moving on to the third move, which is called uh, Sendo Harmon Overdrive. So yeah, so oh that's my a God. plus 20 damage and looks pretty dope. Eesh. I'm at half health right now. <laughs> All right, moving on to the fourth move, Scarlet Overdrive. Check it out. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Takes on the I, don't, I don't really know how I feel about that move. I don't really know. That I would, feel like it would be good for like a, a combo, like when you're like uh, M1 combo. Yeah, and agreed, then you just bro. do that real quick. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, bro, because it seems hard to land, but if you're doing a combo, yeah. it'll be easier to land. All right, yeah. let me charge Muhammad again and showcase the last move. Goes by the name Sunlight Yellow Overdrive. So we got three moves with the name Overdrive. So there's the last move. Okay. Damn, oh my bro. gosh. I'm gonna do 14 bro. health. 14 out of 100 health. Oh my gosh. Moving on to the second character, Joseph Joestar. All right, so this character is kind of similar to the previous character. He also has um, a Hamid fighting style. So that's pretty cool and interesting. And uh, yeah, with that being said, Audible, take it from here, bro. Okay, so the first move, you have to charge your Hamid. Uh, for every move, you have to do that. Uh, then it's Clacker Volley. It's kind of like a barrage, four hits. Each one does four damage. Oh no, five not hits, bad. whoops. Five hits of I, four. I went from 100 to 84 health, not bad. That's, that's not bad, not bad. It's a good combo extender. Then the next move is Hamin Beatdown Overdrive. Beat the damn, that sounds mad intimidating, bro. Oh. Damn, the damage is pretty good. It's yeah, I think it might stun you too. It's not a block breaker though, sadly. And then, that would be cool if it was a block breaker. Then the next move is Cola Overdrive. It is a block breaker. So, Salem block for me. Okay, nice. It does 12 damage when you block. That's pretty good. Pretty All good. Right, really good combo. So now we're going to move on to the next move. And then once the cooldown is done for this move, he's going to use I won't be blocking next time. See, okay. you know, how much damage he does. But yeah, moving on to the next move. Okay, so the next move is Clacker Boomerang. It's a far range move. You could also use it for like uh, combo extending, combo ending, anything. Anything you would like. <laughs> Bro, yeah, and it hits you twice. Down, good. It hits you when it comes towards you. And then when it comes back to me, it also hits you. If you're still in the same direction. Okay, now the last move, it's like a barrage of bullets, and it kind of like, it has very far range. It's kind of like a Muda brush. Like, if you would have a stand, it's kind of like a Muda brush. Damn. And that's, Yo, that's, that's lucky fire, man. Oh, wait, guys, keep in mind, if you're going to use that gun move, make sure you're close to your opponent if you want to do a lot of damage. Because yeah. if, if you're not close, most of the bullets won't hit him. 
But yeah, that move is pretty good. All right, so do the okay, move. Okay, now we're gonna do the Haman beat down while he's not blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this time I'm not gonna be blocking. Let's see how much damage. Okay, so it does three more damage. Okay. Three more. Okay. I was expecting. But keep to in mind that he's more, a block but, breaker, so it could be good for combo extending. Combo. It, it is really good, anything. bro. But I was really expecting it to do like a lot more damage. Yeah, same, same, same. But then I mean, again, you only have a hundred health, so three more damage might actually be crucial. True, true, true. But yeah, guys, that's Joseph Joestar Fia. All right, moving on to the next character, Jotaro Joestar. And uh, yeah, with that being said, your audible, take it from here, bro. Okay, so this next character we're gonna be showcasing is a stand character. That's why his first move is Aura Barrage. It's not Haman, so you do not have to charge the moves. Here you go, I'm gonna showcase it. It is not the block breaker. Uh, the first he means move by is charge the moves, he means like if you have a character with the Haman flying style, you'll have to charge Haman in order to use his moves. But for this character, you could just use his moves whenever you want without charging a flying style. Wait, so that was Aura Barrage, it's kind of like a barrage of punches. Now this next move is Star Beat. Wait, 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 before you move on to, wait, before you move on to the next move, uh, the yep. first move does a good amount of damage. It took me yeah, down it does. to health, bro. Yeah, yeah, just, just wanted to let you guys know. It does 0. 0.45 damage every hit. And that's pretty good yeah, yeah. if you have 100 health. Yup, and like I said, bro, it took me down 72 health. Keep that in mind, guys. It went from yeah, 100 that's like 30 to 30 damage. Nice. Pretty good. Okay, All now right, moving on. on to the next move. It's Star yeah. Beatdown. It's kind of like a close range move. You kind of have to be a bit close. Damn! Damn bro. It does 1.5 like damage character. every hit. So it looks like a character with a stand is just way better, bro, than a character yeah. without a stand. All right, moving on to the third move. Okay, so for the next move, it's kind of like Zoom Punch for Jonathan Joestar. And so, uh, it's a long range move. Let's see if it's a block breaker, block Salem. Okay, so it is a block breaker, that's nice to know. And it's 15 while you're blocking. So I can't even imagine what it does when you're not blocking. Okay, so for the next move, it's a transportation, it's called Stanley. And it brings you pretty far. That's clean. It's, a, it's a good to get out of situations if you're getting uh, Like I said, bro, I'm liking that character, bro. Yeesh. Yep, yep, yep. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Stan characters are low-key fire. Okay, now, for the second to last move, it's Aura Smash. And whew, yeah, it does 15 works. damage. It might be a block breaker. I don't really know. We'll test it out. So, and then for the last move, it is Time Stop. But you have to have the awakening. You have to punch people enough to get the awakening. So it pretty much just stops your enemy and you can hit them a bunch of times. So that's what the last move does. It's an awakening move. All right. So yeah, hopefully you guys get the gist. Yeah, most of you guys know how time stop works. So it basically stops all your opponents near you. And you can just go crazy on them. So yeah. So it, it pretty much creates like a big bubble. And whoever's can in your bubble, it's hit. Wait, wait. If we restart the map and you punch me enough time, do you think you can awaken? Uh, so, yeah. yeah, we should showcase yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we'll get back to you guys once he awakens, and we'll showcase the time stop move for y'all, and then we'll showcase the other moves that 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 like the block breaker move, and see how much damage it does without me blocking. And yeah, once we experiment and do all that good stuff, we're gonna move on to the next character. All right. So my boy finally managed to uh, what's it called to unlock the time stop move. So you're audible. You do a quick show it off. Okay. So it's kind of like forms a big bubble, and it puts your character in a time stop. Uh, and you can barrage your, you can barrage your enemies. Pretty much do anything you need. Oh yeah, this character is broken. It's so broken. far, on this character. And so out far. of all of the characters, out of all the stand characters, this is the one character that only has time stop. It's the only character. Damn. But I'm sure oh, when they add Dio, he might have time stop. But for now, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is probably one of the most for broken. Sure, bro, for sure, Dio is gonna have time stop. But yeah, for now, this character is looking like it's the strongest character in the game so far. Don't don't take my word for it, because we got seven characters left to showcase. But yeah, so go go back to the block breaker move, and this time I'm not going to block. Let's see how much damage it does. Do it real quick. Okay, so it does 15. It, it does the same amount of damage as before. Hey guys, but it's so, still really good, because it has far range, it's a good combo extender, and it also is a block breaker, which is I very like helpful. I just like the fact that it doesn't do more damage... Um, if your opponent yeah. isn't blocked. So even if he blocks, it does the same amount of damage. So that just makes it OP, bro. So you yeah, don't have block to worry real quick. about Let's test it out again. Block. All right. Yeah, you don't have to worry oh, about yeah. it. Yeah, it does, it does the same exact damage as you just saw. Let's say you're planning to do a lot of damage and not block break your opponent, and you use this move and he's blocking, you still do the same amount of damage. So it makes it OP, in my opinion. So yeah, I like this. Yeah. This character so far is my favorite. All right, moving on to the next character, Muhammad Abdul. I think I pronounced his name right. I'm not really sure, but I'm liking his name. And uh, yeah, with that being said, you're audible. Take it from here, bro. Okay, so this character happens to be a stand character, and it also does burn damage, kind of like a fire stand. I'll showcase the first move. It's called Fire Breath. It is not a block breaker, but it does do a lot of damage in it. It's a good combo ender. 
or a I'm combo starter. I'm liking the stand so far, bro. The stand, yep, yep. I'm with, that stand looks nice. Yeah, I'm liking the stand. Yeah. On the stand. Now the next move is incinerate. It uh, it kind of like uh, does a bunch of burn damage to your enemy. Oh. Yup, yup, yeah. Liking the move. And he's at like 60 health right now about, right? It, no, not 60, bro. I was, um, I was in 100 when you started the showcase. Oh. I can't really be okay. that accurate. I'm at 20 right now. Oh, not I damn. You might die health. then. Okay, so... I forgot, for the... I forgot how much health I had, but... For sure, those two moves that you just used, they did a good amount of damage. I think they, they took more than 30 health. Yeah. Probably four. I'm not really sure, bro, but they're they're pretty good damage-wise. I'm moving on to the next move. So the next move is Red Mind, and it kind of like traps your enemy if you hold it down. It traps your enemy for a short period of time. And okay. then you could kind of go up there, do a little fire breath and everything. Okay, so now for the next move, it is not a block breaker, but it, it is a far range move. And it goes through your, er, it doesn't go through your enemy, so it can only hit one opponent. And it does not have AoE. Damn, so. bro, the damage on it is insane, and it has overtime yeah. damage. Guys, I feel like know. that should be the one move that is a block breaker. Oh, it took me down to 0 0.39 health, bro. Okay, <laughs> okay, so then you're gonna die from this one then. So, uh, lucky this is the last move. So this is the last move, is called Crossfire Hurricane Special. And it is a block breaker, so block for me, Salem. Ooh. Oh, damn, bro. <gasps> and it does burn damage after, and the burn damage does like one damage a hit, or one damage a tick. It's pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, yeah first for the cooldown for the last move, and then do it again. This time I won't die. Keep in mind, even though it only does one damage per tick, you only have 100 health, so it, it's low-key a lot. Yeah, it's still okay. good, yeah. Yeah, y'all gotta keep in mind, in this game, you don't have that much health. Okay, I mean, so I'm just, that's not a lot. Does? All right, go. We have a little bit of time left. Okay, so it does the same amount of damage. Same amount of damage as you were blocking. 16, bro. It took me from 100 to 79 health, bro. Damn. If I would do that and then like extend it with like a fire breath because the range and everything. Oh, I'm almost at 50 And then health. like this, it would be fire, bro. It just took me down to 47 health. Yeah, oh this is God. really nice. All right. Next up is going to be Josuke Higa. I'm not going to try to pronounce his full last name. Because, yeah, I'm definitely not going to pronounce it right. And I think I didn't pronounce his name right. But it is what it is. But he's going to be the next character. With that being said, audible, bro. Take it from here. Okay, so Josuke happens to be a stand character. And it, it uh, the first move is Dota Barrage. It's kind of like a barrage of punches. I'll show you on Salem. Oh, 0.45 yeah. health per tick. It does a bro, lot. that took me down from 165. Yo, what? That's 35 wait. damage. Wait, wait, oh wait. Was I, at, was I at full health? Wait, I'm yeah, you were because you just reset. I remember. No, no, no. I have to make sure, bro, because I feel like you hit me before you did the showcase, right? Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't looking at my health, bro. My fault. I'll okay. do that again. How much health? 100, right? Okay, now it's Let's 100. Let's check again. 0 0.5 per hit. Oh, my God. All right, it took me down to Oh, yo, that's, oh, that's low-key broken. So after the <laughs> Dota Barrage, most barrages, they hit the enemy back. But since this uh, barrage, it doesn't hit the enemy back. So you could, like, combo extend by doing M1s and shit. Yo, that's Damn, bro. Right, so it doesn't knock back your opponent, the barrage. That's low-key nice. So yeah, now we're performing bro. punch. I think it might be a block breaker. Block Salem. I saw this is the second move, y'all. It's kind of like a heavy punch. Okay, so it's not a... Oh, wait, I think I missed it. Oh, you did, okay, so bro. I'm going to redo that move, uh, and we're going to get back to you on the cooldown. You, didn't, you did hit me, bro. I, was, I just blocked it. So this time I'm not going to be blocking. So no, no, no I didn't. I didn't. I know I didn't. Oh, you did, bro. I was blocking. Trust me, trust me. I didn't. Trust me. All right, all right, okay, all right. Okay, so we're now we're going to be showcasing the move while it's off cooldown again. All right. Okay. See? So it, you, is a block breaker, or it is not a block breaker. All right, now we're going to use it again. This time I'm not going to be blocking. Man, this wouldn't believe me, bro. Told him <laughs> hit me. I don't know, Salem, bro. I can't believe everything you say, my man. Right, okay. Well, you... <laughs> okay, right. so for the next, uh, for the yeah. same yeah, move, unblocking. Fun. It does 20 damage. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this stand is already a different breed, bro. Yo, the stand is Loki looking fire, bruh. Okay, now for the third move, it's called Bearing Shot. It's a far range move. I don't think it is a block breaker. Try Shayla. Block? I think it's a block breaker. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Yo, that's Loki fire. It's far range plus it's a block breaker. It and the AoE work. looks, or not AoE, and the hitbox Loki looks, it looks kind of small, but still it's a block breaker. Bro, that move Loki goes insane, bro. The damage on it is decent, but the rain just makes it OP, bro. Just yeah. imagine your opponent standing over there, you know, intimidating, and then boom, you just use the move block break him, come at him, boom. and then use your stand, and then it just and clips, it does bro. 12 damage, so it's pretty good. Pretty yeah. good, pretty good. It's a really We're good combo extender because it doesn't hit the enemy back. 
All of yep. these moves do not hit the enemy back. Yep. Okay, now for the next move, this is kind of like a passive move. So like people can't really hit you. Alright, so use it. It builds the oh. wall, so I'm trying to do a move at the wall. Oh, that's cool. Like, yeah, you can't punch me through it. Let's so say uh, someone hit it. Or like block his moves, just, you know, use that yeah. move. You have and you're going to create a wall. And then any move coming at you or anybody coming at you is going to be blocked by that wall. Yeah, just like Joseph like Josar, if he did his minigun, you could just pop this. Boom. Not hitting you. Damn, okay. P.O.P. P.O.P. And I'm sure he could block anything until the duration runs out. Yep. All right, moving on to the next move. So for the next move, it's the second to last move. It's rage mode. So I'm guessing it just makes you uh, rage and it that makes you show, you're, yeah, I was about to say that just simply makes and you move. Salem, hit me, hit me real quick. I think I could do the, the last move, hold up. Okay, I can't do the last, here, get me below uh, 50 health real quick. Like 20 health or something. Do your moves if you would like. Bet, bet. Let me charge my Harmon, I mean Harmon. <laughs> All right. Damn, okay, stop, stop, stop. Ready? Now I'm gonna try to heal myself. Oh, okay, no, it doesn't work. So this move, I'm guessing you actually have to M1 somebody for uh, for you to get the awakening move, but it pretty much heals you. And it heals right. a lot. It's the- Damn, bro. So, so yeah, there you go, guys. This is the character. Oh, it does a good amount of damage. The moves it has is, damn, bro. It's just a different breed. And not only that, bro, the last move also heals you. Bro, yeah. how broken is that? <laughs> it's low-key broken. This might be top tier, bro. Maybe yeah. A or S, low-key. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm picking an S, solid S. One thing I also like about this character is that it's it's rage mode is not an awakening. It's not an awakening move. It's like a regular ability move. Like, look, it's already off cooldown. I can do it again. And then it puts me in a state where I think I take less damage and I do more damage. Yep, I do a, I do more damage. Before I was doing 0 0.45, now I do like 0 0.63. It's really good. All of my moves do a lot more damage. And there's another move. It's like an extra move. It's called homing shard. Oh, so far from all the stands we uh we saw and showcased, if I were to pick a stand to give an S plus from all of them, I would I would pick this one, bro. Yeah, Loki, uh, just because like the passives and everything. So the first move is a barrage. Of course, it doesn't break your block. All barrages in the game do not break blocks, but they just bring your block uh bar very low. So this move is tested the block block break. So no, it isn't a block break, but it does go through your block. So it doesn't stun you like a block break would do, but the move does uh, do a stun. Yeah, so basically, so if your opponent is blocking, you use that move, it stuns him for like once two seconds max, and in those once two seconds, he's not blocking, so he's wide open. So that's, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty OP. So then for the next move, it's freeze. Let's test out if it's a block breaker or not. Damn. Yo, and I'm sure you can't see anything there, right? I Although think this character, I think this character is like God tier when it comes to stuns, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be known as the stun character, bro. That's what's looking like. But yeah, moving on to the next move. It's it's called best friend. The next move. Let's see if it's a block breaker or not. Okay, so it is not a block breaker. And then the last move is a reliable guy. Now Salem, unblock and block again, so your block bar is all up. Okay. Oh, all right, that's a block breaker. Five damage block breaker, bro. Ah. And you get stunned after, so I could do like a Muda Barrage or anything after, bro. Yo, that's oh, like fire. Yeah, I like this character, bro. So it has two stun moves. And not only that, bro, on top of that, has a block breaker move. Damn. Okay. I see this character. This character is low-key a different breed. All right, moving on to the next character. What's the name of the next character, Audible? The next character is Giorno Giovanna, and it happens to be a stand character. All right, so the so first yeah, move is Muda Barrage. Here, the first move is Muda Barrage. It is not a block breaker. All right. It does 0 0.3 damage per hit. And this character is also really good because it does have an awakening bar. So you could see uh, when you're almost awakened. And that did like 20 damage. Took me from 100 yeah. to health. Not bad. Okay, moving on now to the next. next move is Life, life Shot Punch. Cool. Oh. 13 damage. Oh. I'm sure it looks like a heavy hit, so I'm sure that is a block breaker. Uh, we'll oh, we'll do so it at the end of this to test it out if it's a block yep. breaker or not. So it did a good amount of damage, bro. Wait, hold up. It did a good amount of damage, pushed me back, and shaked my screen for a few seconds. So, yeah. you know, you could have easily comboed on me and attacked me without me yeah. being able to do anything. So, I'm basically vulnerable. It's good. It's a good move. Yeah, right. and in, in those few seconds, uh, like, he's not going to be able to do a hit or do a move because he's just going to miss it because his uh, camera's just shaking so much. Oops. Okay, so for the third move, it's called Life Creation. If you hold this down, it creates a snake. 
and it attacks your opponent. Oh, that's clean. It's like you can just be standing over here and just like. like I was about to say. I was about to say snake doesn't do that much damage, but it Loki does, bro. Each time it hits me, it does five damage and hit me. Yo, that's broken. I lost count, I lost count but it took me all the way to twenty-seven it health. It did so bro. much that it lost count. Damn. All right. Yeah. We're not to next. Now for this next move, it's called Bro Healing. Salem hit me. Okay, so it kind of like it punches me and it heals for ten damage, like a few times I think. Okay. And then for the last or the second to last move, uh, right before the awakening, it is Fire Master or Fire Mista, and I don't know if it's a block breaker or not, but let's check. Ooh. Oh, oh, and it stuns you. Oh, no, that's, clean. The sun. that's clean oh my gosh okay now we're gonna come back when we have the awakening for the move all right my boy got the awakening so yeah use the awakening move bro. okay so the awakening move is called requiem that's the name and if you don't know in the anime a requiem if you get a requiem arrow you could stab it with your stand and merge with your stand and it kind of like uh it kind of awakens your stand so let's see what the move does in Oh, that's nice. Yo, it's kind of okay. like a raid mode. Return to zero. Look, oh, there's so much moves. So the first move is, oh my gosh. And then the third move for it is Pebble Flick. Whew, 15 oh, damage. Damn. And then the third move is Return to Zero. It takes away all of your awakening and it gives you your all of your health back. Oh, and then the yeah, last I'm liking move this is thing, bro. I mean, this so, character. Salem, I would reset real quick before my awakening runs out real quick. Reset. So I could do the last move. It's really nice. Okay. On my way. And All right. It, uh, it kind of looks like I'm flying right now. So look, ready? Yeah, that looks clean. I'm liking it. Boom. Oh, damn. It's really nice. Yo. A cutscene. And it takes almost all of your health, bruh. It's so OP. Yo. It, that, that's it's half your health. Of my health, bro. 50. Yeah. Nice. Salem, hit me a bunch. Hit me a bunch. Like, just real quick with your moves and everything. Before my awakening runs out, hit me a bunch. Yep. Okay, ready? Now I could return to zero. It says you will never reach the truth, and it brings you, uh, it heals you a lot. It, Yo, it that's you a lot. So I thought it would take away your awakening. Never mind. I guess it brings on your awakening bar a little bit, and it heals you. Yeah, that's clean. I like it. I like this character, bro. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to, like, yeah, I'm going to have to switch. Uh, all the character from being my favorite to this one. This one's my favorite now, bro. <laughs> Just because of the awakening. Awakening is different, yeah, awakening bro. Bar. And the soul purpose being because it also tells you when you have the awakening because it has an awakening bar, so you see how close you are to the awakening. And now we're oh. gonna move on to the next character because we're almost running out of time. All right, guys, moving on to the next character and uh, Audible. What's the name for this character? So the name is Bruce Bucci something. I'll go check the name. It's right. Bruce Bucci Bucci already. Or Bucci already? I don't know. I don't know I mean, what it's right I can't spell this name wrong, but it is what yeah. it is. I can pronounce his name wrong. It's what it is, bro. Just come back and, and show off what, what okay. this character. So this character, it happens to uh, Bruce happens to be a stand character, and the first move is uh um it's a barrage. It does. You can't really see that, but it does zero point thirty four. Wait. Okay, this barrage is good, but I think this one is the strongest barrage in the game. It mm -hmm. does the most damage. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think it doesn't. All right, so most of them took me down to 80, bro. This one took me down to 78. 78? Oh, nice. Damn. That's like, mm -hmm. that's 22 damage. Damn. Good. And it stuns you, so you can't get out of it. Yep, that's okay. good. Now, this one, it's a good combo ender. Or if you want someone to get away from you. Uh, zipper punch. Just 20 damage. It's pretty good, pretty good. And then the next move is zipper dash. Kai, you might want to get ready to follow me. <laughs> Yo, it's really good for transportation. And then the last or the second to last move is zipper uppercut. And look how look how good this is. It does 15 damage. Look, ready? I could be this far away. Punch it in the ground and it teleports to you. And it punches you. And you can't block it either. That's that's pretty cool. Yep. And then for the last move, the last move is uh Ari Beatdown. I'll test it on Salem. <laughs> Two damage a hit and it does it. Oh my gosh, yo. That's just that's like ten hits of two, bro. I'm liking this character. Um so let's do the moves again. This time I'm gonna be blocking. Let's figure out which moves to block break. So Ari beat down, all the barrages are not block breakers in the game. 
Oh, then let's test out zipper punch. Zipper punch. Damn. Oh, Damn. He's dead. He's dead. Yo. All right, so that's down for your block breaker. All right. All right. Try the other move. Okay, so for the third move, it's as you can see, it's just the transportation. The other move. And then the, the, the zipper uppercut. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you can block it. Never mind. Never mind. So you All can right. block it. My bad. But it does have a lot of range. And your uh, and your opponent's probably not gonna. And he's um, not gonna know you used it, bro. Yeah. By the time he notices that, that, yeah, he's gonna get hit by it. So yeah. yeah. And then the last move, uh, re beat down. I'm sure this is a block, uh, not a block breaker. Yep. So the one that you killed me with is the block break move. I'm guessing. Yeah, zipper punch. Yep. All right. So moving on to the next character. What's the name of the next character, Audible? The one that you so got right now. So the name of the next character is Fugo Pudukota, I think it's pronounced. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. So the first kind of move, uh, this uh, character happens to be Fugo happens to be a stand character, and he kind of he's main, uh, he's mainly based on poison. So the first okay. move is just a barrage. Nice, That's nice, nice. Aid. Okay, yep. not bad. Now the second move is capsule burst. Cool. Damn. Oh yeah, and it does it does uh, yeah it does a lot. Oh. Of that took me up from 80 to 50. Oh, damn. Yo, that's looking OP, bruh. And that's only the second move. And then this is Capsule Launcher. Boom. Oh, wow. my gosh. Yo, the damage. And this, Salem, you're going to be amazed by this move. Watch. Look at this. Lose control. It has a mind of its own. And it kills the enemies. Yo. I can just sit here just chilling. And I can regain the control anytime I want. Yo, Look, that's you're dead. So clean, and it goes bro. to the nearest enemy around, see so you respond. But let me regain control so I can showcase the last move. Oh, so the last move is Fire's really? Finisher. I'll showcase it real quick. Oh. Oh, yo! Oh, yo, this is Loki looking like an S here, bro. High S. Oh my gosh. That's insane. High S. A okay. lot of damage. All right, moving on to the last character. What's the name of the last character, bro? So the last character is Gio Kyo. Gio Chio, something like that. I'm probably pronouncing it uh, wrong. But yeah, the first awesome. move is Freeze Grab. He's he's not a stand character. Uh, he doesn't have a fighting style, but ready? You look so intimidating for some reason. I grab you with ice and it freezes you. Look, you can't move. You see how long that was? Oh, that was cool. A 15 damage, like a few seconds stun, which is really nice. And this move is Ice Spikes. So kind of like a medium range move. It does 20 damage and it's a block breaker also. And then this move, it's Ice Skate. It's really nice. And then this move, it's Rant. Uh, I think this uh, stage might just give you more damage on your attacks. Uh, it so, just gives you more damage you, on your attacks. Is that attack that you four? I attacked you at four. Okay, not bad. Really it gives you more damage on every attack. And then right. this is Blizzard. It's really OP. It hits any enemy around you. Damn. Yeah, and it, even if you're outside of that little circle, it still hits you. Oh, and then the last move is gently sweeps. This, I think it makes you take less damage, hit me. So three damage, let's see how much you do uh, when this is off. I give it a second to uh, get off, okay. Okay, it might just reduce some damage of the stand moves, maybe. It might reduce stand damage. I don't know, honestly. Right, sure so let us know in the comment section if you know what that move does let us know what it does yeah is that it yep that's it that's it that's, that's all it. The that's all the characters y'all every character in this new aba jojo game bro i'm gonna keep calling it aba jojo game because uh this game is low-key inspired from aba and it gives me so much aba vibes but it's just straight jojo i what feel like they mean? should make more games like this because it's like aba but it focuses on one anime i like games like that like if they would yep. make a, like a one piece game version of this that would be fire Oh, so yeah, with that being said, moving on to the tier list. Yes, sir, the tier list. What everybody's been waiting for. Let's see which character is going to um, be every other character when it comes to the tier list level. So yeah, let's get to the tier list already. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're about to do the tier list for the characters. And yeah, with that being said, let's start off with Jonathan Joestar. So, Audible, what tier list level do you think this character deserves? I think I would rate it maybe like a, a high B or a mid B. So purpose being because it doesn't have a stand and you have to charge before all of your moves. So like if someone can catch you lacking when you're charging, you're pretty much done for. I agree with you, bro. Like 
that character is OP in its own way, but it's the way OP in its own way because the damage and everything. But then again, the yeah, the way it lacks stand, stand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, So yeah, I agree with you, bro. Just because it lacks a stand, but other than that, it's mm -hmm. pretty good. Bro. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so right. moving on to battle tendency section, it's uh, Salem. If you would like to say it. name, the name of the character is Joseph Joestar, and um, I would give this character like a mid B, low low tier B. I would give it a high B because. Uh, first of all, it has a barrage. Actually, I think I might give it a mid B or a low B. Actually, because you can bro. block most of its moves. It doesn't have many block breakers. Oh, okay. I don't think we and found one block breaker with the thing. Yeah, I can't really remember. Dude, if that's true, then yeah, I would happily give it a low tier B. But if you're wrong about that, then mid tier B would fit it perfect. Yeah, mid tier B, perfect. Yep. You know what? I think I might put it at mid tier B just to be safe. Because we're not sure, yeah. So yeah, this one's gonna be mid tier B. Also, guys, let us know in the comment section if you don't agree with our like tier list level. Let us know in the comment section what level you would have gave it. Oh yeah, with that being said, moving on to the next character, which is Yotoro. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to pronounce his last name, but Yotoro Kujo. Yeah. And uh, he has Star Platinum Stand, one of the most like famous stands in the anime. So yeah, and I would I would put him low tier. low tier A. Yeah, low tier A. Because it does have a stand and it has time stop. It might be, I think, I might put it mid A or like in between mid A. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I want to change my mind because I the forgot. The time yeah, stop kind of saves yep. it. The yeah, time, time stop. stop. And the damage is looking fire. Stop. Yeah, like I was saying, he had time stop, bro. So I'm going to give it mid tier. I'm going to change my uh, tier list level to mid tier yeah. A. It'd be high tier A, but it depends on the user, bro. Time stop yeah. doesn't always come into clutch. You know what I mean? But if the user is. Yeah, because yeah, there's also a small A. So if the user has like far range moves, you can't really do anything. Agreed, bro. So yeah, mm, what are we gonna give it again? I would give it a mid tier B, uh, also because it has that zoom, mid or not mid tier. A. Oh yeah, mid tier A. Yeah, yeah, mid tier A. Sorry, I accidentally mixed up A and B. I would give it a mid tier A also because uh, the finger, the finger gun. You can also it's long range and it's a block breaker and it does 15 damage. So that's really good. Okay, so yeah, mid tier A it is. So moving on to the next character, which is Mohammed Abdul. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. But yeah, this character goes hard, like I said, in his own way when we were showcasing him. So I'm gonna give him a. Uh, it'd be high tier B, bro. It can't be an A because I feel like it's not that OP. You know, it doesn't like hit different to the point where it's an A, but it deserves a high tier B, bro, because it does do a lot of damage and it's a good character, bro. And and it I depends on. So I, think I would put it at. I think I would put it at a mid tier A or a, or a, a low tier A because uh, first of all, it has burn damage. The barrage, it's kind of like you can't walk behind the stand because the range on it is so big. It's uh, a lot bigger than the, and the hitbox is a lot bigger than a barrage. It's more long range and a bigger hitbox, and the burn damage is OP. And the reason why I would like keep it down there a bit is because it doesn't have that much block. That's why. Yeah, and also the stun move you could trap the character. No, you could trap your enemy. Yep, so like I was saying, bro, block breakers are low key important when it comes to these kind of games. Because if your opponent always blocking, then it's low key almost impossible to land the moves. That's why I'm gonna stay with my tier list level, which is the exactly. height. Exactly. So you exactly. can Exactly. I would I would hundred percent agree because games like this, ABA, like you guys uh you could just spam F and it will just block. Like yep. you could spam block, there's no cooldown for blocking. So we're gonna leave it at this. Like hear me out, bro. So we're gonna leave it at this. We're gonna leave it at a high tier B. If you guys yeah. disagree and pick another level for it, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, we're gonna give it a high tier B in this situation. With that being said, moving on to the next stand, which is uh, say the name of the next stand. Bro. Jotsuke Higashika. Higa. Higashikara. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. this is in the diamond is unbreakable section. All right. So yeah, we're up to the diamond is unbreakable section, and we're on this character. So, um. Hmm, I would give this one. I don't know, bro. This one is different. I would give it like it could be a low tier A. I would give it a mid tier A because so purpose being because it does a lot of damage, and the block breakers are really good too. I don't know, bro. Should I give it a mid tier A? I mean, it's all it's all up to you. Yeah, you know what? what? I'm gonna think? give it a mid tier A, bro, because I forgot damage on is insane. So yeah, mid tier A it is, and uh, like I said, bro, if you guys disagree, let me know why in the comment section and let me know what level you would have gave it. But in this situation, we're gonna give it a mid air, mid A tier level. All right, moving on to the next character, which is also in the diamond is unbreakable. 
character. What's the name of this character? Audible. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. It's Koichi Hirose or Hirose, however you would like to pronounce it. Okay, so right, I so would I'll, put I'll this at like I would put this at like uh, a mid tier B or a high nah, B. Nah, nah, I would give because it because the block C breakers. Look, it's listen, at bro. least a low A or a high B. Audible, hear me out, bro. I would give it an A or a high tier B. Let me tell you why, bro. Yeah, because that's what I was gonna this say. This character yeah. is like the freaking master, aka god of stuns when it comes to this game, bro. Oh, yeah. He has so many stun moves. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna definitely give him a high tier B. That's the lowest level I'm gonna give him. The highest level could be a mid tier A or low tier A. What, what do you yeah. think, Audible? At least, at least I would put it, at least I would put it at a high B, but at most I would put it at like maybe like a mid a or low a because it's a unique character because it doesn't because all of the stuns all of the stuns on the character it has a bunch of stuns and all of them block break like they go through your blocks so you can't really do anything unless just sit there or run yeah away. yeah nope, unless you have like that, a move just that, of that. Uh, it's like a transporting nope, just because of that i'm gonna give it a a uh a low tier A, bro. Yeah, low tier A it is because uh, Loki is unique. I feel like I should give it a mid tier A, bro. You know what? I'm gonna give it a mid tier a, mid tier A. Yeah, I have to give it a mid tier A, bro. Just because it's unique and it has a lot of not a lot, but a good amount mm -hmm. of stuff moves and this is different. And bro. all of them go through your blocks. Yup. So I'm gonna give it a mid tier A. What What do you think, Audible? You agree or disagree? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree fully. All right. So yeah, moving on to the next character. With that being said, Giorno Giovanna. Yup. That's the next character. So I would, I, I would give him, I would give him an A, bro. Lowest tier, A. Highest, uh, high tier A. I don't know. No, I, I would give, I would give him, I would give it an S because when you go into the Requiem form, that one barrage, Shalem. Remember when you saw this character when uh, it went into its awakening and it did like a bunch of barrages and had healing moves, everything. Remember? Oh yeah, the healing move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. It has remember. healing. It has everything. It has. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah. that? Uh, remember when I hit you in that barrage and it yeah, took I, you I, out I to half health? Now. Yep, I remember clearly now. Yeah, scratch what I said, bro. I'm gonna give it an S. Yeah, I forgot how OP this character. I'm gonna give it maybe like a low tier S or a mid S. But mid -S, at low bro, mid, -S, mid S bro. Yeah. For me. At lowest either a high A or a low S. At most. I'm gonna have to give it a mid a mid S bro, cause the way it heals and the moves it has is he's broken, bro. He's, he's broken. He has everything. Everything in one. Stuns, healing, damage, everything you need. Yep, so I'm giving him a mid tier S. Let me know what you guys would have gave this character in the comment section. But in this case I'm gonna give him a mid tier S and hopefully Audible can agree with me. You agree, bro? Mm -hmm. Agree. All right. So that being said, he's a mid tier S. And moving on to the next character, which is Bruno. 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 <laughs> All right. Bruno, Bruno Bucci Avati. I don't know. It's a All pretty right. funny name. I don't know. <laughs> Low key. But yeah, what, what would you um, rate this character? What level would you give it? I would rate this. This is uh, one of my mains because it has transportation plus the stuns are really good. It's really OP. Okay. I would give it. I would give it a high tier B, bro. Yeah. I used, I because used, remember I that zipper a low tier A like if I yeah. were to go overboard I would give it a low tier A no more than that this is really really good for comboing because if you most of the moves hit them back and then if you do zipper uppercut after it's the one where it tele like the punch teleports to the ground and hits them so if you do like a move that hits them like completely back like if you do like a few moves hit them completely back you can just end that or end yes, the yeah, I'm or gonna, I'm a good combo extender too Yep, so with that beast, I'm gonna give this character a high tier B. It could have been a low tier B, but I mean A, but you look you have to know how to use this character in order to go crazy with it. Yeah. You in really my opinion, so I would in give my him a opinion, high I would put it at a low tier A or a high tier B, like Salem said, because you actually have to use your brain with this character. You can't it's not a brain dead character like Giordano Giovanna or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so we're just gonna leave it at a high tier B. I think that level suits it best. So yeah, high tier B it is. And with that being said, moving on to the next character, which is um, it's uh, know. it's yeah, Fugo Panacoda. Fugo Panacoda. This one is probably high S because you saw Salem the poison damage, how uh, it could attack the person, lose control, and uh, the stand like detaches from you and it attacks the enemy. It runs after yeah. the enemy and does all the moves. And yeah, the way you could detach your stand, yeah, yeah. I, I have to agree with you on the high S. So this one, we're going to give it a high S, bro. Let me know what y'all think in the and comments. And this one, I think you can heal yourself with this one too, I think. I don't know. 
Yeah, we don't know about that. Uh, confirm it in the comment section for us. But yeah, like I was saying, bro, let me know what tier list level you would have gave it if you were in our shoes. But for and now, also the the poison. I would give it high, high tier S, bro. I would agree with you because the poison damage, Gia Kio or Gia Chio, however you want to pronounce it. All right, and I mean, I would give this character. I don't know, but I wouldn't give it an S. I don't think this character yeah. deserves. I, I, would I would probably not even give it an A. I would probably give it like a high B. Yeah, I was about to say high B, bro. High B. A high B or a low A because, first of all, it has ice skate with the transportation and the stuns too. If you hit them with the, uh, the ice grab, even though it's really hard to hit because I've played this character before, it's really hard to hit. But if you do hit it, it stuns them for at least three seconds. And that's a free combo completely. So all that's right. why I would either put it at a high B or a low A. What would you think? So? All right, so I would give it a high B, not an A because... Is another character you have to know how to use in order to go yeah, crazy. It's so, not a brain dead character. It's not a brain dead. So I would give it a high B. So high B it is. And that's a tier list, bro. That's our tier list. If you guys don't agree with some tier list we gave to certain characters in this game, then let me know in the comment section why you don't agree and what tier list you would have given that certain character. But yeah, hopefully you guys ended up enjoying the video. And it's been your boy the Sale 121 and Audible 99. Peace out. Hey.